Well, there's the donkey, folks. And I've arrived in a place called Green Hill Lake. And this is it out here. Have a look at that. Oh, the ser serenity. Serenity. It's a scenery. So why isn't that called serenity? Anyhow, I just bought that new chair. It's a drifter. And she's a recliner. Have a look at that. Hey. And it folds like a normal little camp chair with the scissor action into a nice little narrow thing above. I've got myself some stakes here that I cut from a dead tree. It's because the ground I'm on is sand. It's like a beach here. So my eight inch screwing pegs that I use when I go out bush and I'm camping out in hard ground, it's good. They're not going to work here, and it's really windy here. So I'm sharpening ends on the ends of these, and they're nice and long, about a foot and a bit long. Basically, all I'm doing is just sitting here, carving away. Like the old timers would have done it, you know? Well, maybe you should take my glasses off so I'm not being so rude. All right, I hope the sound quality's all right. There, I've got that knot cut off. Now I'm just gonna sit here and carve away, carve a point like that, so I can nail it into the ground. Drove the stakes into the ground. I was working away and my neighbor right here offered me a pizza. I mean, two beautiful slices. I couldn't wait, I had to eat one before showing you guys. How nice was that? He actually had four pieces and I said, nah, two will do. Got one gazebo up. My steaks worked really well. Anyhow, I'm gonna enjoy this and I don't think I'm gonna put the other one up for now. Wait until the others come. And I need to make more steaks because I only made six, thinking I'd only have to peg the front, but the back, the wind's gonna turn tomorrow. This is a northerly, I got told. It's a very hot wind. So tomorrow is going to be a um, southerly. So it's going to come from the other side. Uh, from here. Well, it might be sheltered by this van. Grouse. You'll have to forgive me on the audio. It's um, really windy. All right, you stay there. I'll give you some when I'm ready. We have to make sure there's no one yet. How beautiful is this? You're not going to believe what I forgot. I forgot to bring my stages, which is normally my Captain Rum or some sort of spirit. Probably a good thing. Gone are the days of a hammer and pegs. Cordless drill and screws. That way if you hit a root, it just screws straight into it. fly on and then we're done. I've got to do short videos of all this stuff because my phone doesn't have enough memory. There's a little quick sneak peek on the inside of my tent. Sleep that way. Got my little power bank in there because I'm going to need to charge me thing. Got my little mozzie zapper up on the top there and light. As the sun's setting down over Green Hill Lake. Over near Ararat. Sensational arch. And have a look at this beautiful colour on my face, eh? That's sunset colour. You don't get that very often. Well, unless you're seeing a sunset. Beautiful Green Hill Lake. Have a look at that sunset. How beautiful. Thank you, Tracy, for sharing this beautiful photo. Good morning. Just a very simple setup. I was pretty tired yesterday. 
such a sunny day today, a bit cooler. However, very humid. My cousin has arrived from Melbourne and he's set up his camp now. That's his tent over there. It's a beautiful Black Wolf Turbo Plus 300. And there he is over there with his lovely wife. And this is their setup in, of the vehicle. So they can go really light if they want to, or they can, you know, we're bringing their children along, of course. You'll need a bit more room. And here's their kids right here. This little one here giving me the hang, hang loose sign, that's Mango. This one here, that's Jono. <laughs> and how are you guys liking? How was your trip coming up? Good. Yeah, excellent. Hot in the car or did you run the aircon? Aircon. Aircon, there you go. And there's me little pup, Tiger. I love this little bugger, but I love them more. Sorry, Tiger. Now this might kick up a lot of controversy with a lot of people with what I'm about to say. But all my life, there was always Australia Day. And in my heart, I still love Australia Day and all the parties and, and everything that we did with Australia Day. I'm sorry to all those people and indigenous people that feel offended about Australia Day. But I live my life as I've always known it, as I was brought up in this beautiful country to believe in. And listening to Paul Kelly in the background, there is nothing better than that. Cheers. One of the other things we do on the Australia Day weekend, apart from enjoying being out camping and celebrating, you know, just being Australian, is listening to the hottest 100 is out of all the music that we have here in Australia. Um, people pick the hottest song for the year. And that's what we're doing right now. There's something you don't see too often. I know it's a bit blurry, but it's a little possum. I just grabbed its tail as it was running up the tree. Hey, little fella. When they say the water's like glass, I guess this is what they mean. Absolutely perfect. But there's not a fish rise anywhere. That's not much fun there. That tells me that there's not much fish in here. Probably all scared with all these boats racing around everywhere. Tiger. There goes my cousin's out for a little joy right in there, little tinny. Yeah, I found some metal thing. Oh, yeah. That's mango. Mars, Kara, Tiger, Zeppi somewhere out there on his jet ski, and I'm here wishing you guys happy Australia Day weekend. The tranquility of sunsets never seems to stop to amaze me. Why, I don't know, it's always the same sort of looking thing, but it is beautiful. It's a beautiful picture to see every time. Here's my beautiful cousin going out with his three children. The one in the yellow jacket's Mango. The one in the red one's Johnny. And this one here in the white, that's Mickey.
think I'll have me a spot of fishing right now. Try my luck. I'm gonna use this lure. Don't exactly know what it's called, but it looks like a little tadpole to me. Pretty shallow down here. Change the lure up for one of these ones. Stop spinning. Maybe look like a bit of a trout more. Give that a go. The hook's on top so it shouldn't get caught in weeds. Lots of weeds. All right, this time I'm changing it for one of these things with a bib on it, a wobbler, a red one. See how we go, being a gloomy day, hopefully this works. Am I in the picture even? Doesn't float. Tonight, I'll be cooking. Well, I'm not cooking, I'm just gonna heat up pulled pork in a sauce. You buy them frozen from our grocery store. But I'll put my grate on this and sit my fry pan on here. But once this reduces some. Gotta get the base heat. One good tip, if the wood is heavy, there's a good chance it's still too wet. I am getting microphone audio, just hasn't arrived yet. But once it does, things will be better. Now that the smaller twigs have burnt down, it's created our base for our next size twigs to go on. So we started off with twigs approximately this size. We added some of them ones. Now what we're going to be adding is the larger ones. I love my little helium bottle fire pit. So stoked with it. Like a mini washing machine tub burner. I want to make a box for it so it doesn't leave a mess in the donkey. Oh, that's getting a bit big. There you go. Now the larger ones. This grate, well it was a whole barbecue with legs, but that all rotted away. But I kept this bit. So I could do that and look at that. It fits absolutely perfect. I'll be cooking on this, so I'm not leaving it on there now because it'll just destroy the metal.
because we're getting a bit of a wind tonight, oh, take this up a bit, it's getting a bit warm. I've pegged the tarp I've got here, down the bottom here, I'll give you a look. Because what it was doing, it was slamming up against my fridge and my tables. So by pegging it out like that on the bottom with uh, octopus straps or I don't know what you call, bungee cord, bungee cord. That's it, and then there, bungee cord there and a bungee cord there on the bottom. And also here on the ends, that'll now allow it to, you know, the wind will hit it and it will stretch and come back. This is my... Right, I've got to stop there, folks. I've got to dish up and eat. Then I'll sit back and enjoy the rest of that wood and that fire. Good morning, folks. It's Monday, whatever date. I had me fire last night. And I put the lid on it and went to bed. I woken up this morning and it's still glowing in there. I didn't know I could do that with this. So happy I can have means of cooking <laughs> in the morning without really needing the gas. It's about quarter to seven in the morning. There's a heap of ducks. Oh, there they are, they're still there. A heap of ducks, a family of ducks. And Tiger's watching over them. Beautiful morning, overcast. It's meant to be 27 today. Well, I think today will be the day I'll go home. Not a hundred percent sure. I'll see how I go after breakfast. Because um, it is so beautiful here. And tomorrow's weather's supposed to be the same as today's. And I'm stoked about my little fire. That's a musk duck. It's got this big bladder under its chin, full of the scent of musk. Morning, Kappa. Oh, dang, that's hot. Ah! Oh! Might have made it like my cousins make it. Too hot. Get down. Oh, it didn't mean down off. Yeah, stay there. What a morning. And this is what you work hard for, folks. To enjoy life. Don't wait till you're too old. Every chance you get, get out and do it. And just like that, my friends, this was my campsite. It's now all gone, put down, 
and I'm ready to take the journey home. What is it? Approximately two hours, but I'm going to go into Ararat, the township of Ararat, and have a look around in town because I haven't been here in the last 40 odd years. And this was my picturesque backyard, <laughs> you could say, which I'm leaving. One more last look at it. Absolutely heaven here. All right, well, thank you all very much for watching and sharing my videos with me. Much appreciated, and um, we'll see you when we're looking at you next, I guess. Bye, folks. Yeah, we're going home, lad.